everyone, Moreau Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another New York City vlog. Make sure to give a girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. All right, you guys, so we are back in New York City. We are here in Harlem because we are about to kick off New York Fashion Week. Um, it technically doesn't start for another three days, but I'm here because a lot of events start soon. Um, and you can tell we're back in New York because Mot motorcycles are revving at uh, 11 a.m. Um, and it's like 20 degrees outside. So why are you even out on a motorcycle? Who knows? I hope you can hear past it. So I have a ton of events coming up leading up to New York Fashion Week. So that's what this video is going to be about. I'm happy to be back. Um, I quickly did a face because I'm actually heading to brunch. My girl T, Darling T on Instagram. She's been in a few New York City vlogs. She's been in a few um, Miami vlogs. Um, she lives in Brooklyn and she is hosting a brunch today. I think it's catered by like a Caribbean restaurant and a ton of my girls are going to be there. So yeah, I told her I would pull up fresh off the plane, y'all. Straight off the plane from Miami. Um, so we're doing that today. Um, tomorrow I have a few events. It's, it's going to be a wild ride leading up to New York Fashion Week. So this is another preparing video. Um, I'm going to show you guys my outfit. We're going to choose a fragrance, a bag, and then we're going to head to Brooklyn. All right, guys, I'm going to get a head... Why? It was totally quiet, and as soon as I press the record button, the guy starts revving again. It's so annoying. This is why I moved to Miami. <laughs> Anywho, um, only brought two perfumes for Fashion Week. I bought the Barreto, um ball that freak if you can see that and then i bought the tay noir 29 um today ball that freak i think actually let's go with the tay noir all right and i think the bag i didn't bring too many bags either but we're gonna wear my fendi baguette just because i'm wearing a pretty plain look the lip is a uh, makeup by mario nicole i'll link it down below i'll show you guys the full look and then we are off let's go to brooklyn all right guys i hope you can see me but here is the look i'm wearing this sweater from i believe this is either from boohoo or nasty gal um it's one of my favorite slouchy sweaters and it crisscrosses in the back which is really fun these jeans are from DL 1960, 1691 or 1961, <laughs> but I love the hem of these. I've had these for years and I just think the undone hem is so cool and it really does a good job at showing off any kind of boot or shoe you're wearing and highlighting that. And these are old Celine sandal. I mean old Celine boots. I got these from Bergdorf's. Um, and then we're going to go with the Fendi Baguette. Fragrance of the day is the Tay Noir 29. I'm going to throw on a coat too, and then I'll show you the look because it's freezing here. Let me see. Uh, Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 43 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 46 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. Yeah, so I'm going to be indoors, but I still need a coat because it's only 40-something degrees. All right, guys, look at the day. Let's go. All right, guys, I made it here. Went to the liquor store. Got a little champagne. Um, I always feel, feel weird going someplace empty handed. Um, so even though we don't have to bring anything, I like to. But here's another look.
good morning everyone um let's get into last night i went to a brunch hosted by my girl tanya in in bedside um at her house it was so fun she invited a bunch of the girls um it was sponsored by honey pot which was really cool um kayla was there kayla walker um my girl we're both from north carolina so we bond off of that but she's amazing um shauna was there simply shauna on instagram it was good catching up with her and seeing her um michaela pabone was there as well um and just a ton of you know creative bad boss women um and it was such a good time it was a uh, cater as well I'm going to get the name of who catered it because it was really, really nice. Um, a Caribbean restaurant catered it by um, an Antiguan. Um, if you don't know, Tanya is also an Antiguan. So, yeah, it was super fun. And we just talked and we ate and we laughed and we just had an incredible time. I'm trying to find the name of the the caterer because the food was great and uh they are in brooklyn so let me see okay i had to look it up on instagram it's called wadadly jerk um and the owner came and he was super nice he set up this whole beautiful like tablescape of different food i think we had salmon we had uh jerk chicken and waffles we had mac and shrimp like mac and cheese with shrimp um and uh a dairy free rasta pasta i believe um everything was delicious we also had some sorrel uh co like cocktails mimosas they they were really good so you can check him out um i'll put the restaurant handle down below but the address is 419 putnam ave and I think he's also in bed buying. Um, I think so, like in the back. So yeah, the food was great. The company was great. We ended up staying there. Like it was supposed to end at four. I ended up staying until like seven. And then uh, Tanya and I headed to Dumbo House to watch the Grammys. And that was cool as well. So I don't know why I woke up with the biggest headache. I think I'm not used to like the heat and the cold in New York. Like you can see I'm a little stuffy um, and that's because in these old buildings we have radiator heat like I can't control the heat in here and it's really really the air is super dry and hot and I'm used to having like moisture in the air <laughs> being in Miami and uh, I had to crack my windows so I could get some kind of moisture or I would wake up with nosebleeds throughout the night and I just feel like my head is dry like my brain is dry my eyes are dry my nasal passages are dry and it, i just feel a little sickly <laughs> um so yeah i just ordered some water because i need water i feel like all of my orifices need water um i have a lot of work to do today today is monday um this evening i'm going to an event with harlem's fashion row and Bevy Smith, which should be really fun. I'm on my Harlem. Right now I'm on my Harlem. Um, I'm gonna take you guys with me, but I might, I'm gonna try and get down to Fifth Ave and do a little bit of shopping, see if I can find anything for this week. I think this week I'm just going with the flow. Like last night I was asking all of the girls, like all of the influencers and content creators, are they doing fashion week? And a lot of them are just like, you know, we're doing little things here and there, but we're not, going all out and really i think that's kind of like the consensus amongst everyone um so yeah i do have qu a, quite a busy schedule so i'm not looking to buy a whole bunch of new stuff just for a week but i'm gonna try and really put the clothes that i have to use because i have quite a bit of quite a fair amount of like winter fashion clothes here in new york i just have to go through it and see maybe we'll do that too later on but right now i'm going to get some work done i have some work for michael kors i need to turn in i have some work for 
Dior Beauty I have to turn in today. I need to post on Instagram. I haven't posted in like a week. <laughs> yeah, it's been exactly six days since I posted on Instagram. Um, and I, a video was supposed to go live yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. But I just wasn't feeling the video. So I scrapped it. I don't know. Like, it was a get ready with me. And I just felt like it was redundant and not like the best video. So I just decided not to post it. So that's why there wasn't a video um, on uh, February 5th. Also, I got home like super late. So that's what's tea. I'm going to get some work done. I ordered myself some Starbucks because I don't have any creamer in the house. I need to go grocery shopping. So we'll see if I get any of that done. It is a beautiful day today in Harlem. It's cold, but it's beautiful. What's the, the degree? Oh, this is still on Miami. Well, it's 71 degrees in Miami. Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 42 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect intermittent clouds with a high of 51 degrees and a low of 28 degrees. Okay. So I have a cute outfit to wear to the event tonight. And yeah. If I can finish my work before noon, we will go do some shopping. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, by the way, skims. Yeah, and I know I'm not in my Harlem apartment a lot and people start asking about the plants. They're birds of paradise. The mirror, it's from Ikea. The bookshelf, it's from Amazon. The couch is also from Ikea. Um, and so if you're interested in any of my Harlem home decor, I do have a blog post on my website. Fashion Steel NYC is linked down below. Go to the home decor section. There are at least three blog posts on literally I've tagged everything in my apartment so that you can shop. Um, all right, you guys, I also have videos. I redid my apartment during uh, the vid um, when I was in lockdown. I redid the whole apartment and I did a series of videos. So just check out the home decor section of my YouTube channel for home decor inspo. Just talking to you guys, I already feel a little bit better but I need some water. I'll check in soon. All right, y'all, I got my Starbucks. In case anyone wants to know what my Starbucks order is, <laughs> I ordered three things of water <laughs> because I don't have any in the house. So three waters. I'm probably gonna drink them all right now. And then I got a smorgasbord of snacks. What's this? Okay, so I got a sausage and cheese muffin. I mean, a sausage and egg muffin, no cheese. Uh, clearly I ordered two. <laughs> I thought I only ordered one. So I ordered two, that's nuts. I got a Rice Krispie treat. And this, I got a caramel macchiato with oat milk. No extras. So that's my Starbucks order. I'm going to devour this because I need caffeine and I need water. So now we can get to work. <sighs> hey, y'all. Um, so it's about 2.30 now. I have been working all morning on uh, my deliverables for these campaigns. I was going to go shopping, but I worked right through my shopping time. Oh, I'm, excuse the sun. It's like, I get the best light in my Harlem apartment, I must admit. Um, so yeah, I'm just finishing up with my Michael Kors um, and Dior Beauty deliverables. I had to make a reel. I had to make... I had to make two reels, a TikTok, had to make like six stories, um, and that took me all morning. <laughs> so I just ordered myself some lunch. I ordered from this place in Harlem called Field Trip. If you live in, so, sorry about the light. If you live in Harlem, definitely check out Field Trip. It's so good. Um, it's black owned. I believe they do have vegan options, but they create these delicious bowls. And I got a braised beef bowl. It comes with brussels sprouts um rice 
beans um they have this delicious avocado cilantro sauce it's on frederick douglas i believe so yeah if you're in harlem they do deliver to most of harlem definitely check out field trip harlem so delicious and I, again they have um vegan options and they also have naan like the bread with this delicious carrot dipping sauce i mean it's a spin on like healthy food it's really good i'll show it to you when it comes it should be here in a sec but yeah no shopping today i am gonna go tomorrow because i don't have anything to do tomorrow until like 6 p.m i might be going on a date i'm not sure yet i'll let you know but um yeah tomorrow is my free day i don't have really any fashion week related events i might go to an event at night for a hair care brand but we'll see how i'm feeling um so yeah we're not shopping today it'll be pretty much the whole day tomorrow we'll be shopping because all my work will be done uh, i think i'm going to take and leave because my head is still bumping even though i drank all my coffee i got some caffeine in i drank some water still my head is it's 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 pounding <laughs> it's pounding and i did not drink enough yesterday for me to have a hangover so it's definitely like atmosphere related um so i'm gonna take in a leave and then i think i'm about to watch harlem i watched the first new episode of season two i want to watch the second episode of harlem since i'm in harlem it's giving me harlem vibes um and i'll check in with you guys to show you the food from field trip and then i'll check back in when i'm getting ready to head to an event at soho house um in new york city tonight um with harlem fashion row and debbie smith should be incredible i think because it's an event i will be able to film so i'm gonna take you guys with me normally at soho house you can't film in there um but if it's an event i believe that you can so it should be fun i'm gonna wear my own design tonight um with my collaboration with sanji from our latest fall collection and you know anytime i'm doing something with harlem's fashion row i have to wear a black designer so why not wear myself it's happening don't forget sanji and i are coming out with a spring summer collection it is dropping in may so get your coins ready girls because it's it's gonna be probably the best collection we've done so far this is our fifth collection together and i'm very excited about it my nails look horrible i'm going to take this polish off and repaint them all right check in soon <laughs> Here's my lunch from Phil Trip. You can see the beans. There is some greens in there. Um, the braised beef, the rice. It's a little bit spicy. Underneath there is also some Brussels sprouts. This is the um, avocado cilantro sauce that's so good. I have my naan. It's just like a little sweet treat with the carrot um, dipping sauce. And they have so many different sauces that you can use but it is so delicious. They have like a shrimp bowl, a salmon bowl, um, a vegetarian bowl, um, and they're all delicious. So definitely check out Phil Trip Harlem if you are in Harlem. Hey y'all, sorry if the light is not that great, but I've just done a quick makeup look. The light isn't the best. I'll show you in the um, living room in a second, but I'm wearing the Dior 999 lipstick and the dress from my last fall collection with sanji it's y'all i swear the older i get the less noise i can handle like i can't take it anymore i'm ready to go back to miami <laughs> i can't take it anymore i hope whoever that is is okay but literally i've been listening to sirens all day for hours <sighs> again the dress something by sanji i am gonna go with uh ball that freak tonight for a fragrance and again this red is dior it's uh 999 that's the shade it is so good it is the perfect like winter red with like just a slight hint of an orange and it's matte and all of dior's lipsticks come in matte semi matte and then like shiny or glossy so you can choose which is amazing um 
Again, I do have a code with them. It's Monroe 23, all capital letters, for a free gift with purchase over $125. And I will link all of the, the all of my favorite Dior products down below, including this lip. I also use their mascara and an eyeshadow palette from them. So we are good to go. I need an earring. Let's see what I'm gonna do. Do I wanna go big and bold? I feel like this is doing too much. Um, I think I'm just gonna choose a plain hoop. Just a plain hoop. And let the dress shine. I think these, who are these earrings by? I can't remember. It's just a plain hoop. And then I'm gonna go with a brown boot, I think, and coat. So I'll show you the full look in just a sec. I hope you all can see, but here is the look. Sound off below if you bought this dress. This is the Beyonce dress from um, our fall collection. Finally have some place to wear it. The earrings are old from, I believe, Simon Miller. The lip is Dior. And then I went with these uh, Stuart Weitzman parton boots. I love these boots in this beautiful brown. Um, I also have them in black. They are super comfortable and true to size. Um, I love the heel on them and the shape is very fun. I'm gonna put on a matching um, trench coat to the boots and that will be the look. Okay, I think this light is better. But yeah, this is the look for this evening. Let's go. All right guys, wanted to show you all the jacket. It's my friend's jacket from um, All Saints. I've had this for quite some time and I just like it because it matches my boots. And also it's just like a fun little fringe moment. here in meat packing about to head into soho house we'll see if i can record in there maybe on my phone or try to get a little bit of the chat for you guys it's such a beautiful night
Sit down. Sit down. Francis, I love you. I love you. I'm so happy that you're here. It wasn't until um, my dad also had a stroke in 2014. And that was the year that I said, you know what? Life is too short. Oh, the devil did. love, joy, grace in the world. So please help us do that. Thank you so much. It is a brand new day. Last night at the It, it Gets Greater Later event with Bevy Smith and um, Brandis Daniel of Harlem Fashion Road. It was incredible. You guys, I was in a room full of like black fashion royalty. Dapper Dan was there. Um, literally everybody. <laughs> Sergio Hudson. I mean, Emil, everybody was there, okay? And it was just incredible. There was a moment when I was just sitting there, like looking around and I was just like, wow, I'm really in this room. Like I was invited into this room and I couldn't believe it. Um, and I met so many incredible people who um, have been supporters of me for years. So um, if you were there, shout out to you, drop me a comment. Um, and it was just a really fun event. Uh, uh, Fee, Fee Noel was there and we chatted a bit. Um, Claire from Fashion Bomb Daily. Um, we spoke about like fashion leaks and Paris and all the things. It was just a really incredible night. And of course, Brandis, who I love. I was recently here in New York. Um, she invited me to her home to talk about um, the new website, how you can shop uh fat black fashion designers all in one place on her um harlem's fashion row website i'll put the website down below it makes it super easy to, to shop um black designers from all different websites um and i mean what better time to do it than black history month and new york fashion month or fashion month um so i'll put that down below because a lot of you really do love um shopping and supporting black owned businesses um, but yeah, she came out with a book. It's called Fashion and Color. It is basically an, an it's basically an encyclopedia of like black fashion designers right now. Um, and she made a point to say that when she looked back um, and tried to find like what designers were popping in the '80s, what black designers were popping in the '90s, it's really hard to find all of that information in one place. And so she created this coffee table book. And it's incredible. I will put a link down below so you guys can buy it if you're really into fashion. You guys know I love like any kind of black coffee table book. Um, whether it is the new black Vanguard or Supreme um, black models. Um, I will link all my favorite coffee table books down below. But yeah, this is definitely gonna be a new edition. I'm gonna buy two copies. 
um, one to give away and I'm gonna buy one for my Miami apartment but yeah definitely check out the book this was Bevy's first it gets greater later kind of chat she has a podcast um, and they were filming as well if you don't know Bevy Smith look her up <laughs> um, and if you watch the show Harlem she is an actress on Harlem she's an author an actress all things fashion all things New York all things Harlem she is incredible so I had a wonderful time I had a really wonderful time um, so yeah today is shopping day I actually woke up went to the grocery store washed two loads of clothes all before 10 a.m. <laughs> and it's now 11 and so I just put on a super quick outfit nothing fancy I'm probably gonna hit up Bergdorf, Saks, maybe Nordstrom I want to hit up a Zara, Mango um, and just see what I can see like little tidbits um, perhaps for New York and for Paris Fashion Week I'll show you guys the full look it's literally nothing like I put on a lip just to like <laughs> make it seem like I tried. The hat, you guys have known, you can get this on Amazon. I put on my Holly Berry Time Sweaty Betty coat. I don't know if you guys remember that they did a collaboration and I was promoting it, but I love this coat. And every time I wear it, people ask about it, but it's limited edition, so it's gone. I have on my um, Rodart, Rodarte. Uh, sweatshirt then I just have on some sweat some uh, leggings and my Celine sneakers I'm not even carrying a bag like if it can't fit in my pocket it's not going I might need to throw on an earring just so I don't look like a boy um okay let me show you the full look and then we are going shopping all right so here's my outfit of the day wearing this sweaty Betty coat um times the Holly Berry collection that they did maybe two years ago and it also snaps on the side this coat is not available it's no longer available you cannot buy it anywhere um also i don't know i think this sweatshirt they might have stopped making this as well but i just have on some leggings they have fleece on the inside and then my celine sneakers since i'm going to be doing quite a bit of walking it's a very chill <laughs> i'm not even trying type of look even though I put on some lipstick to just try and act like I care so yeah anytime I go to any of these places I always run into someone I know and I feel like I destroy their view of me when I look bummy like they expect me to be on 10 like I usually am when I go out in my videos but yeah no <laughs> y'all getting barely barely today and I'm sure I will see someone <laughs> that I know or someone who knows me um, out shopping. So yeah, this is what they're gonna get. All right, let's, well now I have to wait for my phone to charge because I put it on the charger, but apparently it wasn't charging. So I only have 5%, so now I have to wait till I'm at least at 50%. I hate when this happens because I planned this out perfectly. I, I timed it out, but yeah, say la vie. That's the look.
from my shopping excursion. I went down to Fifth Avenue. I started at Bergdorf. I went to Mango, Zara, Uniqlo, and Saks. I also went in Bottega. I um, only bought like two things from Bergdorf that will be in the next vlog. Um, from Uniqlo, I bought those Heat Tech tights. These are so good if you live in a cold weather location, you're going skiing, you're just gonna be somewhere cold. I bought two pair to get me through. I bought a medium and a small because I don't really know how they fit anymore. But yeah, these are just for New York. Obviously, I won't need them in Miami. Also, I might need them when I'm in Paris as well because it's probably cold there for Paris Fashion Week. Um, and again, I just got two items, nothing you know, crazy from Bergdorf. Um, I really just went to get more like inspiration of outfits I can put together for New York and Paris. But I have so many clothes, like I don't really think I need nothing new. So a lot of the outfits you're probably gonna see for New York Fashion Week, which starts pretty much tomorrow, will be just things I already have mixed in with maybe a few new items. Um, so I hope that's okay. Let your girl just wear her clothes. All right, guys. I think that's it for this vlog. It's probably going to already be pretty long, even though it's only been three days. I am going to wash my hair <laughs> and get it prepared for like the first two days of Fashion Week here in New York. And yeah, check back in on, I think, Wednesday uh, for... Pretty much the whole New York, well, the, the 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 majority of New York Fashion Week vlog. I'm gonna have to break it up um, because you guys know I like to be really in depth with what's happening. Um, and every day is about 20 minutes, really, when it comes to these vlogs. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, for watching, for all of the love and support. You know, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I'm very lucky to have such an incredible audience of people who ride for me and who support me and who are just so positive. You guys know I kind of been going through it, just not feeling motivated really. Um, and you all have really, really helped me push through. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. Um, subscribe if you're new I would love to have you join the fam and click the notification bell so that anytime I upload a video you are notified also I want you guys to take note of how this video was I filmed this vlog on my normal vlog camera which is a Canon G7X Mark II all of my um, technical things that I use for vlogging and blogging and content creation and influencing can be found in the description box. Um, but this is the camera I normally always use for any kind of content. Um, the next vlog you're gonna see, which is the New York Fashion Week vlog one, I will be filming with a Sony. So I want you to take note, let me know in the next vlog, which is the first New York Fashion Week vlog, whether you prefer my old camera, the Canon G7X Mark II, or the new camera, which my next vlog will be filmed with. I really need your input on this. And then I'm going to do a review, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you New York Fashion Week. We outside, we outside.